Good morning, Dr. Eric Kleginski here, FanWid Back Relief Center. Today we're gonna to talk about neck pain and cervical disc derangements. There are several muscle skeletal disorders associated with the discs of the, the neck, the cervical spine, that can cause pain and affect the ability for you to move the head, the neck, the shoulders, all these things are a part of the whole complex. So what we're gonna talk about today is the disc. The disc itself is a fibrocartilage Fibro, excuse me, fibroelastic cartilage that acts as a shock absorber between two bones. So on this model here, you can see that there's bones and they're sandwiched between a disc, okay? The disc right here has two components. In the center, you have what's called the nucleus and that houses all the blood and nutrient for the disc. Uh, on the outside surrounding this nucleus, you have these cartilage rings. Uh, and they're very t uh, dense and they're there to not only absorb shock, but to keep this disc centralized. What happens is, is when the, the spine gets injured, specifically the disc, what will happen is that disc material, that nucleus, okay, will start to spill out onto where the nerve is, and it can cause a bulge or herniation or a prolapse. Uh, there's multiple terms for very similar conditions where the disc is damaged, pushing out into where the nerve tissue is and could affect the way that nerve functions. Now when that happens, it creates a lot of inflammation in this area. So the muscles get tight, um, you can get uh, pain down your arm, it can affect your ability to move your hand, you can lose sensation or feeling in the fingertips. All these things can occur uh, when it's injured. Unfortunately, this disc right here becomes compressed over time as we get older. So it loses a lot of the water, water or nutrient and it gets more and more squashed. You can see there on this one, it's not as full and healthy as this one, okay? And there's different stages where it can go from here to here to here to all the way down here. And you can see how the disc, you barely even see it. And you can also see how these bones are all jagged. And what we call that is lipping and spurring. These, these bones start to grow, um, they remodel uh, in, innately to help protect the area because the disc is no longer there. But this presents a few different problems. The more that disc is squashed, the more it can affect this ability for this nerve to heal. Now, as a chiropractor, my goal is to make sure that these bones are lined up properly. When the bones are lined up properly and they're not tilted or twisted, there's symmetrical loading on the disc. Once it starts to, your posture gets affected where the hips high on one side or you're rotated or you're flexed forward, it causes unequal loading on the disc and can push that disc material down into the ner nerve over time and set the stage for injury and various conditions to occur. So it's very important from my standpoint that things are balanced and that these blocks are symmetrical from the top all the way down to the bottom. Also, we wanna make sure that the, the bones where, we call these the facet joints, where the bones interlock, that they can glide smoothly because if it becomes fixated, then the bone doesn't move properly and the function goes downhill as well. So it's very important to make sure things are in the right position from my standpoint and things are freely moving. Now, when a disc gets injured, there's a variety of different ways that we can help to recover that disc. One way is, from a chiropractic standpoint, is getting things in the right position, getting things moving. We could also decompress the disc. We have a machine, a spinal decompression machine, that just slowly tractions and takes some pressure off that disc, giving the disc the opportunity to heal, re-nourish, get some of the material back into the disc, get blood and oxygen and nutrient into the disc so it can heal properly. Um, so if you are suffering with uh, disc issues, whether in the neck or the lower back, uh, chiropractic is a good uh, treatment, as well as the other modalities we use in the office, like spinal decompression. Any questions about uh, cervical disc pain, give us a call, shoot us a message. We are here and happy to help, and hopefully you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.